It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield, which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through. And it takes a lot of pressure off your defence, of course. Forces longer passes through the aerial route. So, all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. So we're up and running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Mohamed Salah. And it's mainly because of his frightening pace. He's a huge threat when he's running at defenders, but he's also proved in recent times that he's a top-class finisher. Opposition defences are going to have to be wary about playing a high line because there's nothing this guy relishes more than space to run into. And once he gets there, he's gone. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. And it's played forward. Oh, well played. That has snuffed out the danger. Egypt seem ready to just bide their time for the moment. Patience seems to be the operative word. Can he finish? Keeper pulls off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. They've played it short. Hits one! Goal! Calm, composed, confident. What a super goal. Ah, oh, that's just clever. He made the keeper think he was going one way, only to outfox him by going the other. Very nice. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And if you have just joined us, still just one goal between them. And the score is 1-0. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Is it out of harm's way? Oh, nice touch. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Well, that's been cut out, well played.
Mohamed Salah. Mustafa Mohamed! And for a moment, time stood still. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. Oh, no, no circumventing this opponent. It's an inviting looking ball that. And he cuts out the supply. And the keeper's got it again. He's going for goal! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Well timed, excellent interception. Sends it forward. Well, the score's only 1-0, but that doesn't tell the full story. Half-time coming up, and little doubt as to which of the two sides is the happier. The ball is loose, and the chase is on. Looking to hit the front line. Passing is crisp and sharp. And we've reached half time. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Leading 1-0 at the break. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Chance! He's missed, but not by that far. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. And it's been taken straight back. Forwards and with intent. Trezeguet. Played long and they could be in here. Not many. Good read, needed to be. And he's gone looking for safety. Mustafa Mohamed. Oh, he's burst through. Yeah, he's fouled him there.
going for goal. Oh, special. That is a special goal. About as smooth as it gets. Egypt are level. That was beautiful. Something close to genius. Well, he made it look effortless. Clearly a training ground perfectionist. Egypt grab the equaliser and we're all square. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. Oh, can he get onto this? Oh, it's a nice idea, but the execution was lacking. The defending has become, all of a sudden, very personal. Up close, adhesive. Yeah, and what they've got to realise, Peter, is that they won't get away with excessive force for long, so they're running a fine line now. Cross goes in there. Massive leap! And he's there to make a great save. Shomurodov really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Oh, he's felt that, hasn't he? Moved on forwards. Gently done. Ah, he's had it taken off him. Moved forward and quickly so. Shifted upfield. Shomorodov, whose goal-scoring skills have already been evident. Now there's a fine ball. Shomorodov. The pressing's intense and it's paid off. Forwards and with intent. Just a quarter of an hour to play. Tries a shot! Oh no, that could be a costly miss. It's a very watchable game, isn't it? Any goal from here could, could well be the winner. <laughs> Egypt can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Oh, sweet feet. Nice physical challenge. Well, they deserve an awful lot of credit for their commitment to the cause, but it's a goal credit that would be most welcome now. Promising cross. Don't you just love the level of intensity here? Neither is prepared to back down, and, and to be honest, that's how it should be. No, he's not getting his way this time. Shomorodov! Shomorodov! Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. And it's played forward, calmly anticipates. Looking for options for movement. Now the finish! Oh, that's incredible! And that has raised the roof!
Uzbekistan really were asking for trouble there by failing to cope with a, a formidable press. Egypt making consecutive changes here. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Egypt complete their comeback, and now they only need to hold out for a few minutes. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. Nice ball, and he might be in here. I think we're about to see a frenetic finish. Uh, no half measures from here. They're avoiding the blatantly obvious by not getting the ball into the opposition box. That's where it has to be. Added time going up here. It's three minutes. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle.